Hey guys, this is the Helpful Solutions tutorial and this is an EasyPost tutorial and I'm going to show you how to use EasyPost for beginners. So guys, EasyPost is a fast, reliable and flexible multi-carrier shipping API that integrates almost 100 plus global carriers. So guys, EasyPost gives a small to enterprise level businesses the ability to rate shop between carriers and track packages and validate addresses and also to get insurance for their parcels so guys here at their homepage this will be their homepage over here so first thing you have to do is go to easypost.com over here guys and then from here you will have here the sign up free button and the login button so let's go ahead to sign up then once here guys you will have an option here to provide your name so i'm gonna go ahead and provide my name and also provide your email address and also your phone number you guys and lastly your password and once you are done you're gonna go ahead and sign up for free and then from here guys you will have a verification link to your gmail account that you provided so let's go ahead and go to google let's go to gmail over here and then from here guys we're gonna go on select easy post over here and then we're gonna verify an account using their link over here and then from here we're gonna type in their code we're just going to copy this code that they sent and then we're gonna type in the code and hit verify and then from here, guys, this will be their homepage. So they are going to set up your account. And from here, their website is a world-class platform. And they provide a better shipping. And they also have a parcel protection. So now, guys, let's go ahead and complete profile. So from here, you're going to provide a certain information about your business. So from here, write in your company name. I'm going to go for Helpful Solution. And then from here, guys, we're going to have a job title, which is a required. So I'm going to go for a product manager. And next up is the business type. So I'm going to go for a service. And then from here, we have a monthly shipment. So we will have options here. And the website can handle up to almost 250000 monthly shipments so that is a lot so i'm gonna go for the most minimum and then from here list platform you sell on so i'm just gonna leave it blank as of now and we're gonna go on submit and then from here guys this will be their dashboard so over here you will have a bunch of options on their sidebar we have analytics shipments trackers insurance batches report scan forms pickups web hooks and events and lastly we have the account settings so over here guys at the analytics we will have the total labels the total cost and the average cost or labels so it will show here on the graph over here our three categories over here but guys remember that only usd purchases will only show up here and next up we have the shipment so over here we will have the orders that are ready to be shipped and ready to be delivered and now guys let's move on to the trackers so over here we will have the trackers which will show where is our shipment is going and over here guys we will have a filter over here at the top we have the environment the date range and the statuses so we have here multiple statuses pre transit in transit out for delivery delivered return to sender failure cancelled or error so these are the statuses that will show over here but guys as of now we don't have a parcel yet to be shipped out so it's not showing but if you have a parcel that is shipped out you will see it over here so now guys we have insurance over here so same thing your parcel that have insurance will show over here 
and next up we have the batches so from over here you will see the batches that you have shipped out and next up we have the reports and the scan formats and also guys the pickups we have the web books and event and lastly guys we have the account settings so here at the account settings this will be the information of your account so first things first we have the billing over here and we can set up our wallet over here guys you can just hit set up wallets you can add a bank or you can add a credit card so over here at the credit card it will be a 3.75 convenience fee but for a bank account you will have it for free but it will take three to five days for ach transfers so if you want to set up an account you can just hit next and provide the necessary information in order for you to complete the method and next up guys we have the reports over here so we have payment logs we have the cash flow we have the adjustments and we also have the refunds so here on the reports you will see all kinds of logs that has happened to your account so these are a very helpful tab over here and if you want to generate a report you can just click over here to generate all the transaction for the past 30 days and now guys let's move on to the carriers so over here are the carriers we have the easy post carrier accounts so these are the easy post carrier accounts down below so they have multiple options here and from here you can create an account or you can click these three buttons or edit an account and you will type in here the reference and the description and you can update it guys and then you can also have here my carrier accounts you can just go ahead and join in today or connect your account and now guys you can also add a carrier over here which they will have multiple options over here that you can select and you can also select it here by having the search button over here and now guys let's move on to the members so from here this will be the members of your easy post account so we'll have here the name their email and also their role and what is their status and next up guys we have the api keys so these api keys give you a full read or access to your account and you can also have here the add additional api key and next up guys we have the branded tracker and then as you can see here guys you can have your own tracking page preview so this is what i like about easy post because it lets you have your own customized url your own logo and also your own name so let's try to go the helpful solutions And guys, we can also change the color over here. So we can change it to black or we can change it to red. And we can also change the background color that we prefer. And lastly, we can upload our own image on our tracking page. So I'm going to click on here. And if you want to see it, just go ahead and go to preview new window. And there you go. As you can see, guys, I made those changes the color red and our logo over here and guys here the helpful solutions so this is what i input and lastly guys we have another preview over here which is this one you can have another theme and if you want to see it just go ahead and go over here on preview new window and this will be your tracking page and there you go guys, if this video is helpful, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. See ya!